Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel. This is a reading applicable for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It is a three card spread having a look to see how your special person might be feeling about you and your situation. I'd like to remind everyone that this is a general reading um, so it might not necessarily apply to everyone uh, but I do hope there is something here that could hope, hopefully give you some insight into how your special person is feeling whether you're in contact with this person, whether you're married, in a relationship, um, haven't been in contact for quite some time, wanting to attract them, wanting to date them, or wanting to reconnect things as well. So just wanted to say thank you for leaving behind likes, shares, subscribes. Um, it's been absolutely amazing. So thank you to everyone uh, for doing that. Let's jump into it, Taurus, and see what comes up what three cards come up to specify how this person your special person might be feeling about your situation together okay some very powerful energies at play here next to you Taurus there's a lot of lust and momentum coming in with that king of wands energy now for those dealing with a fire sign and Aries or Sagittarius or Leo this person is coming up with a lot of excitement around you the king of wands likes a challenge he's bold he's daring he's in he's he's invested in the challenge okay and it shows that he's he's ready. It's almost like he's ready to get up from his throne. So there's someone here who's ready to get things going, okay? Ready to initiate things. Especially anything around lust or passion, um, even arguments, okay? If someone is suddenly showing all that sort of energy, it could be someone here that's feeling like they're, they've got a bit of buzz, um, energy, motivation, fire. It's like a fire in the belly here. Um, and it essentially it does come back to that sort of wand energy whether or not you are dealing with a fire sign here uh, but there could be someone here who is really coming in with a lot of excitement and even a bit of unsettled energy the king of wands isn't known to be completing of things okay sometimes he leaves things half completed so there might even be someone here feeling like things are a little bit incomplete between the two of you or they're still something you need to achieve or do or speak about perhaps something that might be outstanding or unresolved okay that this person wants to address with you um, in some way shape or form here um, it can be an unsettled energy here as well it can be that someone's feeling like maybe they don't necessarily want to settle maybe on the same level as you do and that's not necessarily that they don't want to settle with you. Maybe they're not ready. The King of Wands, I feel, has a, a bucket list of things that he wants to achieve and have and do um, before he sets out on relationships um, and, and, and full commitment. So there could be someone here who's feeling excited and ready um, in, in one way, but maybe in some ways they're not as ready as, as, as they, they might um, come across. Okay, but... Um, there is definitely a lot of attraction here. So there's someone here who perks up when they're next to you energetically, emotionally, mentally. Maybe they get more chatty, but there's some sort of effect that you have on them, Taurus. So pay attention to those sorts of verbal and nonverbal cues uh, around this time. You've got the beautiful star card here as well, and this can be the sign of an Aquarius. Um, the star card really is about destiny and fate and healing. So it can be that someone feels like they're destined to meet you or someone feels like you are giving them something, something that they have wanted to receive. You might be giving them a lot of love and affection that they never received in their earlier relationships or even in their childhood or growing up. You might be giving them um, opportunities to put them on a platform career-wise. You might be connecting them with new social circle, introducing them to new hobbies, but essentially um, you're, you're, it's almost like you're filling the, the sky with stars for them here, Taurus. So there is someone here who's feeling like they're, it, it's a magical connection. Um, it's something super special to them and they're feeling like things are aligning in, in a very beautiful way here. Stars can also be astrological compatibility here as well, which is absolutely beautiful. 
or there is the notion of healing as well closure forgiveness there might be someone here who's wanting to forgive um, or is seeking closure from you or is wanting to heal a situation they want to move forward and whether moving forward means moving forward together or moving forward re reconciling in a way and then going different uh, directions it's going to be different for different people watching but these things could be coming up um, so there could be someone here who's wanting that with you um, Aquarian energy is highly intelligent, okay? If it's not an Aquarian, you might be dealing with the fact that someone might be feeling Aquarian energy towards you. Uh, shows that someone is talking about you. Um, Aquarians are quite chatty and they're quite knowledgeable and, and self-aware. So it could be someone that wants um, exclusivity with you. Uh, this person might be telling their friends, their family about you. Uh, they might post pictures um, of the two of you, maybe for the first time on social media. Or make things a tad more exclusive because the star card is is us seeing something us being inspired us having exclusivity or seeing something to marvel at so it could be someone who wants to be more exclusive or take that to the next level take whatever you have to a more exclusive level perhaps where people know about you um, know about your connection how it's progressing or if you're coming back together in an ex-partnership for example but for a lot of you uh, the notion of the chariot, which is cancer, which can be the past, past bond, attachment, uh, love. And the star card here definitely solidifies that you have someone from the past that's wanting to reconnect with you. It can be the sign of a cancer here as well. The chariot is, is, a, is a kind of success and conquest. Uh, when we see in, 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 this, um, in the medieval, in the ancient age, it was often the emperors, the uh, military generals, the leaders... Um, people of importance and high status that were in control of these chariots here. So again, something about status, um, but conquest, okay? Uh, the chariot would come back, uh, the charioteer would come back and, and, and um, in, in the back of his chariot have gold and relics and um, God knows what else he collected from his treasures, but he was um, praised and admired uh, for for his conquest here, but conquest comes after challenge. It comes after obstacles So for some of you that do have some sort of emotional obstacles with someone whether you're not talking Whether there's been deception whether there's been um, lack of communication or there's been hurtful things said or done um, Or not done or not said uh, the fact that that's coming up shows that someone wants to move forward. Okay, someone wants progression. The chariot card is all about motion and it's motion in a forward approach. And it's also a very good omen to have the two sphinxes here because it's showing that this person wants to move forward together. Not necessarily away from you, Taurus, but with you by their side. So um, that's a very powerful thing. So there's, there's someone feeling really confident in your connection here. Um, or they're feeling like... When you're by their side, they feel strong, they feel victorious, um, they feel emotionally um, bold, okay, they feel exhilarated. So this is a very powerful feeling. Again, more stars in the canopy, which is absolutely fantastic here. Uh, but it is cancer, so emotional bonds and attachments are being formed here and codependency. The black and white sphinxes is the black and white yin and yang, and together they make that symbol okay together they unify the divine feminine and the divine masculine powers of the universe and for that to come together he could definitely speak of someone feeling like what you have here is a special union one that could very well be a twin flame or soulmate union here so there is someone who's feeling very happy with the way things are progressing or they want to progress forward especially overcome anything that's might you know anything that might throw you off in the relationship either around this period or perhaps into february as well i will leave your reading at that though taurus i just want to thank you again for tuning in uh, i just want to remind you though that these are general readings and obviously people out there are dealing with different kinds of connections and relationships and people so uh, there's there's a lot to take from these three cards but I do hope it's giving you some sort of insight into your situation and I do wish you all the best um, with whatever it is that's happening in your love life Taurus so thank you again for tuning in and until next time